Welcome to the station crew. Enjoy your stay. The engineer in Space Station 14 is tasked with keeping the station repaired and functional, as well as keeping the electricity of the station flowing. The station heavily depends on the engineering department to keep things running smoothly. To start, I'm just going to assume you're readied up as an engineer and spawn into the engineering department of whatever station you are currently playing on. Due to this being just an introductory guide, I'm going to recommend what to grab so you're ready for whatever comes your way. First thing to do is look for the yellow engineering lockers. You typically don't have to look very hard for them, and on some stations, you'll spawn in the locker room. You're going to want to open up the locker, grab the hard suit, insulated gloves, gas mask, and either the nitrogen or oxygen tank depending on your race. Slimes will use nitrogen, every other race currently uses oxygen. The tank can fit in your suit slot after you put on your hard suit, meaning you aren't using any inventory space for all your essentials. All of these items are absolutely necessary for you to be able to do your job. The mag boots in the locker are optional, and really only help you for combat or in situations where there is no gravity, but that isn't going to be happening right now. You'll also want to relocate a U-tool machine, and grab yourself a T-ray scanner so you can see the wires and pipes under the floor tiles. This will also be helpful for the next part. The next step is to find the AME room, and on this particular station, which is PAC station, it can be found here. The AME is a lifeblood of power currently. All power begins at the AME, and is your primary source for the, of power for the entire station. Getting the AME set up is crucial, and thankfully setting it up is very easy. First, you'll want to grab all the reactor cores and set them up in a 3x6 configuration as you can see here. This is the most common configuration. Not all stations will allow this size, so you're going to decrease accordingly. But you always are going to want to try to keep it 3 wide. Some people prefer a 4x4 configuration, but in the end it's really the same. If you place each core down on a tile, you can use a multi-tool to impact them. All engineers spawn with a tool belt and the multi-tool spawns in it, so that's an easy step. Next, you're going to want to grab a wrench and unanchor the controller, and drag it onto the orange HV wires, that is, hugging the rest of the AME generator. If the controller is not an HV wire, it will not generate power. This is a very common issue I see with new players setting up the AME, and even some experienced players mistake this. Finally, grab a field jar and insert it into the controller. As a rule of thumb, the injection amount is a number of cores times two. Not all stations need this much power, but that isn't important right now. What matters is keeping the station running with ample power, and cargo can always get you more fuel. There's obviously a lot more to being an engineer, but hopefully this video will help you prepare for what is to come, and should help you be more confident in starting up an engineering shift. I really hope to see some new blood in the engineering department, and hopefully the new blood will make less mistakes. But, as the way space station goes, I will probably see your actual blood on the floor. Good luck out there.